Novak Djokovic launched his secret drink earlier this year, or unpacking Sila hydration cubes to see what they're made of and how they stack up to competitors. And we've reached weekend one at the Australian Open. We're running through the Saturday matches you did not want to miss. The break starts now. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Guy. You are watching The Break. In November of 2022, this video of Novak Djokovic's team preparing a secret drink went viral on Twitter. As the group of men huddled together in a circle, one mixed a hidden substance into a water bottle that he'd eventually hand off to Novak during his match. Although this might look suspicious, it's actually pretty common for athletes to have a personalized blend of ingredients to rehydrate during their performance. We don't doubt that someone as meticulous as Novak has a drink tailor-made for his body. So, when Novak Djokovic announced his own brand of hydration supplements, we had to learn more. Sila Electrolyte Hydration Cubes launched earlier this year at the United Cup in Australia. Novak even hosted a launch event at the first Sila pop-up booth in Perth. Check it out. So, I'm super excited to go to visit uh, the first Sila stand here in Perth. It's uh, exciting times, obviously, for all of us uh, at the Silla family to be able to launch it here in Australia, a place where I've done some incredible things tennis-wise. A lot of people are wondering what Silla is. Silla is a health and wellness brand. It is also a celebration of my journey, of what I've been through. I just wanted to share with people worldwide. Silla <laughs> translates to force from Serbian, by the way. Novak said this about the brand. The idea to create Sila started more than 10 years ago. I started being more disciplined, passionate, and relentless about finding the best ways to improve myself both on and off the court. I was so inspired by the overall wellness state I was in and how it was affecting my performance that I decided to look into creating my own brand that could enrich people's lives the same way it did mine. The drink currently comes in three flavors, watermelon, grapefruit, and lemon. The hydration cubes are being launched in collaboration with Waterdrop, the official hydration partner for the ATP Tour. So, what's in it? Here's the list of ingredients for the Sila Watermelon Hydration Cubes. Compare that to Gatorade's Zero Sugar Hydration Powder, and there are minimal differences. The main one we noticed is that Gatorade contains a small amount of artificial sweetener, whereas Sila uses Stevia Extract, a natural zero-calorie sweetener. The other main difference is that Sila has way more vitamins. Here's the nutrition facts for the watermelon cubes. You've got vitamin C, vitamin B12, thiamine, magnesium. Gatorade's drink is just pretty much sodium, which is fine if you're trying to rehydrate, but Sila is much more well-rounded. We weren't the only ones curious about these cubes. Morgan Riddle and Taylor Fritz got their hands on Sila in Australia and tried it out. Check the video. This is supposed to be what Novak like actually uses for like his encore drinks. It's what I've been using. This is a secret sauce. Then Novak's uh, been putting in his, I mean, yeah, his drink. I mean, okay, so if I drink this, I'll be like Novak. Sure. Hmm. Thoughts? Tastes like grapefruit. Funk. All right, tastes like grapefruit. Got it. We ordered the watermelon flavor from Waterdrop's website, and it does say that international orders won't ship until March. I guess I'll have to wait just a little bit longer before I can be like Novak. Cancel your Saturday plans because the lineup down under is insane. Here are the matches that you do not want to miss. Taylor Fritz will need a few extra Sila hydration cubes because he's facing his highest ranked opponent in over four months. Stefano Tsitsipas will take on the top ranked American for a chance at the Australian Open quarterfinals. Arena Sabalenka will try and defeat Amanda Anasimova for just the second time in their sixth meeting. Anna Samova is back on tour after a nine month break to focus on her mental health. She has a tall task ahead of her. Sabalenka has dropped just six games in three rounds. Coco Goff will try to earn her ninth straight victory as she plays Magdalena Freck of Poland. And two tour veterans will battle as 36 year old Novak Djokovic faces 35 year old Adrian Manorino. These two have played four times before, Novak winning all of those meetings. 16-year-old Mira Andriva looks to keep the magic alive as she faces Barbora Krejcikova. Andriva actually leads their head-to-head 2-0, a third win, and she's into her first major quarterfinal. And finally, fourth seed Yannick Sinner will play 15th seed Karin Hachanov. Sinner hasn't dropped a set en route to the fourth round. He's trying to make his sixth career major quarterfinal at just 22 years old. Tennis Channel's Australian Open coverage begins daily at 5 p.m. Eastern with TC Live. We will see you 
tomorrow.